Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and today I have a haul. Y'all. Okay, so I had gone last weekend, or whenever you're watching this, it was last weekend for me. Jessica, Dave, and I decided to go to a uh, antique shop in Belper, which is a little town not far from here. Very cute town, nice town. So we went to Belper, and we decided to go to the antique shop, which we didn't film. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just moving stuff. Um, but we thought we'd have a look around, you know, see what was there, see what kind of price. Because sometimes you can get bargains at the antique stores, which I did. And I will show you. So let's get into it. So the first thing I got was, well, <laughs> you just saw the top. We looked around for quite a bit. It was a big place. It was huge. It was a massive place. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> and it was. So we walked around and we found this. So there's this one stall that had their vases for this art vase. They had a couple of different vases, but I got three of them. This was five pounds. I thought this was a wonderful price for this vase. Everything is intact. There's no chips, no crap. The ruffles are all good. All the applied clear glass swirl going up is a little, little thingies here. They're all good. There's no it's got a rough poncil mark. There you go. It's got a little inclusion in the glass, like a little bubble. And they made it. Let me, you can't see that. Let me do it this way. So there's like a little bubble there, right there. That's like in the glass, like a little inclusion. But for five pounds, oh, yes, say yes, please. Mm -hmm. I do like the art glass. So then the next thing I got was this lovely light amber vase. Look at the handles with the applied clear handles. Again, no maker's mark. This part is not rough. It's smooth. And look at that. It's like a, almost like you can just drink out of it. <laughs> Put your wine in there. No, just kidding. Um, it does have some watermarks on the inside. See there? That's like a watermark. I have to put some of those denture tabs in there. See if I can get that out. But it's just like uh, hard watermarks. That's what it looks like. But isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just, if you had all different like this and this and like a blue one. Oh. It looks so pretty. Um, if you've ever seen Christine from Side Street Market, her background is all these beautiful glass, just like all the colors of the rainbow. You just got to go, go check her out. Go look at her background. It's gorgeous. So I got this. Again, this was five pounds. I mean, she's hefty. She's a light piece. I just love the applied handles and the texture of them. So good. So I got that. And then I got this little vase here. Smaller smaller but it's a ruby like a ruby red anchor hawking vase and it's got the little mark on the bottom I'll show you yeah you probably won't see that it's right there so it's got it's like a little anchor hawking ruby ruffle top vase and i liked it i thought that was so just such a deep red so again that was five pound and then we're walking along we're looking we're seeing all the things <laughs> And I find this. And this was £6.50. But when you see it, worth every penny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at this. Look at him. Hey, girl. And then on the other side, you got a little bunny. And it's like a, it was, it was called a posy vase. So I guess you could put something in here. I don't know if maybe a candle holder went in there or it was just like this. And you could just put like... Maybe a little plant in that or some little posy flowers or some faux flowers or whatever you want to do. But look at that. All the mushrooms on it. Excellent condition. It does have crazing of because it's old. But look at him laying there living his best life. <laughs> legs all kicked out. Legs akimbo. Just. Mm. And this is Silvac. And I'll show you that the back there. So it says Silvac England, and it has like a mold number, which is 4889. I just thought, and it was £6.50, and <laughs> worth every penny. <laughs> to me, it was worth every penny. Will I be selling this? Yes, I will be. <laughs> but how cute is that? I mean, look at the mushrooms. So, you know, mushrooms look good. Look at all the, the like little greenery, the ferns, and the, it's like they're living out in the, like, you know, the little, um, what do you call it? The little, where the fairies live. <laughs> 
Fairyland. <laughs> Not to be confused with Sugarland. But, uh, so yeah, that was $6.50. I love that. I saw it. I was like, girl, you don't get that? Did Jessica? She's like, no. I was like, I guess I will. I guess I'll, I'll bring it home. <laughs> so I got that. It's just so cute. That little pixie on it is too much. So then I found this here box, which the box itself is cool. I mean, it's old vintage. It looks like old vintage Christmas box. But what was inside of it was, um, oh, please, was, I'm trying to get them out. <laughs> Uh, was two crystal knife rests. So you'd set them on the table, rest your knives on them. I mean, look at that. And the thing is, you could just have them out in a display, you know, with your clear glass. Bring back to clear glass in 2022. So I got those, and they were in this little box with this weird cottony stuff in it. So I'll show you that one. They came like this. And they're so pretty. And this was $4.95 in the box. So I thought it was too bad for crystal knife rests. I thought they were pretty. And I said yes to the, not to the dress, but yes to the knife rests. So that's what I got at the uh, antique shop. Then in the town itself, we decided let's go hit some of the charity shops. Why? Because it'd be rude not to. So we did. So, um, yeah. We got, I'm trying to think of what I got. Because <laughs> what happened, what, what happened was, we had gone to the charity shops, then we'd gone to some of the, uh, we got to the antique store, then we got to some of the charity shops in Belper, but then we went out of Belper and went somewhere else. So, but I'll get into where we uh, went later. So we went to Oxfam. Now we went to a couple of charity shops and I didn't get a lot in the charity shops there, shockingly. But I did, I will show you what I did get. And there was some good stuff there. Some of it was priced, you know, for retail, which is absolutely fine for them. But not if you're, you know, me and I'm reselling. So I went to Oxy and I got these. They're embroidered pictures. Would they be considered cruel? Unclear. Please let me know if that's cruel in the comments. And they're not framed and they're one, they were $1.49 each. And look at the back. <laughs> that person wanted to make sure that thing was not coming out. That wasn't going, that wasn't shifting. That was going to stay. They're both like that. I mean, whoever made these, like, these are not moving. They are going to stay on these cards forever. So I got two of those. And they're a, probably about a five by seven. And so you could put them, because they're not framed, you could put them in whatever frame you wanted to. I will sell them together. So I got those. And then I got this little, I think there's two little placemats in here. A little... So they were 79p. I haven't taken them out. They're like a white embroidered. But I thought they'd be fun for a mystery box, you know. Quick little uh, place. They're like little place settings. And there's only two of them, but I just thought they were good. So I bought that. And then I bought... I'm trying to look. Now. I bought this very cool flower frog. It's a leaf shape. It looks like this on the bottom. It was $1.99. And there's no chips or cracks on it. And... I thought it was good. Nice little flower frog. So that was pretty much all I got in the charity shops in um, Belper. I didn't, it was fun to look. We had a good look around. We had a good rummage, you know, how to peek. So then we decided to go to this other charity shop, which when we got there, it was almost close to four. And <clears throat> they're about to close. So I'm just reaching over here. They're about to close. And they're pretty much closing like the gate that comes down over the shop, they were like, you need to go. We were like, oh God, okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, basically what I bought was this. Well, Dave found it. Cocktail challenge. Now I'm gonna use these as package toppers for my, when I send my packages out and they're just kind of cool. Oh, they are cool. Oh my gosh. So I can make me, so it's, it's almost like, um. What do you call them? <laughs> that was a good thing. Um, coaster. <laughs> they feel like a coaster. So they're brandy. They just make your brandy sour. And that's the back. So I thought these would be. And they, was, they were 50p. And I don't know how many cards are in here. 30. 30 cards. So 
I talk for those special little packages that I send out to either my friends um, or wherever, whoever. Cocktail cards. So I got those. So now I'm going to have to rearrange some stuff so I can show you what I got. Um, hold, please. I'll be right back. This is some of the stuff I got when we decided to go to a couple of different chair. We went to one charity shop and they were like, we're closing. Get out. <laughs> like, okay. So then we decided to go to Riddings, to the Lighthouse in Riddings, which me and Jessica like to go to. They call it the Emporium. And so, <laughs> oh wait, no, that I got at the place that was kicking us out. It's like this, it's a, just says England on the bottom. And this was 20p, but how cute in the mystery box. Oh my God, right? So I got that. On this too, I got an Oxfam, which was just this little glass paperweight. I just thought this was fun. 99p. Again, mystery box item. So that aside, we went to this place, to Riddings, and we had a look around. I got a few things. I got this, and it is a Saddler um, trinket dish, sugar bone, what have you. And it's got a lot of crazing on it. Look at that. Loads of crazing. Crazings. Loads of crazing. <laughs> That was a crazy. And um, I'll show you the bottom. And it says Saddler England, and it was one pound fifty. So again, I liked it. It's like I said, it's got loads of crazing on it. I'm trying to take the sticker off, see what it says underneath. I know it says Saddler because I can see that embossed on it, but nope, not happening. Not gonna mess with it. And then I got this. This was two pound, and it's like this little genie. Shrink a dish. A little genie in a bottle. I just thought this was cool. I'd seen this and then Jessica goes, girl, did you see that genie bottle? I said, that genie thing? I said, I did. Again, clear glass. Bring back the clear glass. And it's it's heavy though. It's not, it's not like a thin piece. It's like heavy. She's chunky. So I thought that was fun for a little trinket dish. To put your little rings or whatever in. I just love that on a dressing table. That'd be so pretty. So then I got some other little things. I got this. This was not as tiny as it is. It was three pound fifty. I know, I know. But wait, it is Frank <clears throat> Parfumery Bavaria. But look at that. And then this is in good condition. Sometimes you find them and they've been squished. So three pound fifty, yes, a little more than I'd pay for something so small, but I just liked it. There's a sticker on the bottom. Wait, hang on. And I just liked it. I just thought it was cute, so I picked it up. I know a little bit more than I would spend, but I was I liked it. So there's that. Right. So then I got these. These were a pound each, just like little sherry glasses with a little gold. A leaf on them. Pound each. Again, a nice little set. It's very decorative. You could put little tiny candles in them if you wanted to use them as candle holders, or you could use them as sherry glasses, or just to put some little flowers in. So I got those, and then I got, oh, I had to get this, which is, um, it was a pound. And I know it's a little tiny, but look at that. It's a thistle, Scotland. So you know I got it. So I got that. So that was fun. And a lot of, sometimes these are for mystery boxes. A lot of the times that I'll use them for mystery boxes. Um, and then I got this as well, which says whales on it. Now this is again, this is another little fun piece for a mystery box. Again, if you've not able to travel or you have been to Wales and didn't pick up a souvenir, well, here you go. It's gonna be in your mystery box. <laughs> and it's like a little shot glass, but if you collect shot glasses, and or you like anything whales related here you go so that's my haul y'all i have uh some more stuff but that'll be in another haul because this would be far too long <laughs> you know people got lives um anyway that is my haul y'all and so now who are we gonna do for dolo digs let me think all right guys today for dolo digs i'm gonna do a young channel a new channel 
and I think you should go check her out because she's very uh, fun. She's loads of fun in the community and the vintage community. She's, I just, I adore her. That's Caroline, young star girl. Now, she's just got to 100 subscribers, y'all. So y'all go over there and give her some more love. I will have her videos come across here. Her channel come across here. And she does a lot of sales with my favorite person, Helen Booty, New England Thrifter. And she does a lot of collaboration sales with other reseller, uh, vintage resellers in the community. She's very positive. She's always in a good mood. She's, you know, she lifts me up when I watch her. I just get a kick out of watching her. I've done uh, collabs with her and Helen Booty. I've been on a couple of their uh, mystery box unboxings and their, oh, the craft time. Oh, that was so fun. I did that recently with them on uh, YouTube. So fun. So go check out Young Star Girl on YouTube. I will put the link in her description. Oh, and I'll, the link in my description <laughs> I'll put a link down there. Y'all just look for it. And I'll also put a link to her Instagram so you can follow her on Instagram as well. You guys, thanks so much for stopping by. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.